Hi everyone, it's Crystal here in the AFE Training Center. And today I am treating one of my patients um, kind of a little uniquely, I'll say. This is not something I typically do on a patient in one sitting, but uh, this patient has had threads in the past, she's had filler in the past, and her right nasolabial fold always bothers her because she sleeps on that side. Um, so what we're doing is literally only one lifting thread to her right nasolabial fold to try to help kind of counteract that heaviness and make her appear as um, symmetrical as possible. So I just went in with a little bit of a Lido to get her numbed up, and then I'm using an 18 gauge needle to open up my insertion points so that I can easily go in with a cannula. And I am flooding the vector with plain 2% lidocaine just to make the patient as comfortable as possible. You'll see once I get down there, when I retrograde out, I'm not pushing too much um, lidocaine because you will see why here in a little bit. But as you can see, just retrograding out, pushing less than 0.5 or half a cc of product. And then I'm going in with my V-Soft lifting thread. Um, so this is, I believe, an Arte 1 that I'm using in this video. Probably one of my favorite threads. It's what I reach for the most, especially on a patient like this who has kept up with injectables in the past. She has really good skin quality. She doesn't need all that much lifting. Um, these threads are like my go-to for those patients. So you can see I'm just making sure that I am in the correct depth and then going ahead and removing the cannula and the thread is left behind. So you can see I'll do a little bit of a reverse tug just to give it as much lift as possible. And then we'll trim the end there and I'll make sure she is good and clean. Next is what I typically don't do in a normal appointment. Most of the time, if patients come to me um, and I'm doing lifting threads, I will never do filler on them because they're just too swollen, too beat up, too bruised. It's hard to see what I'm filling. However, on this patient, you can see she really doesn't have that much swelling on board at all. She's not all beat up or anything like that. And she could use a little bit of cheek and mid face support. So I was okay going in and doing a little bit of filler on her immediately after doing a lifting thread um, because she looked fine. She didn't have any kind of hematoma, no crazy swelling, anything like that. So I was okay doing so. When patients get a full face of lifting threads, it is really difficult to go in and do filler, especially in the cheek and mid face because they're just so swollen and beat up. It's really hard to see what you're doing. But with only doing one, um, and you know why I said I was only pushing a little bit of lidocaine in that vector, was so that I wasn't causing her to swell up a whole ton, um, so I wouldn't be able to do this in the end. So you can see I'm going in, um, and I'm doing a, just a little bit, honestly, of some filler in her, more like her mid-face area. She had some like decent lateral support in um, her cheeks, but I just wanted to add a little bit of medial mid-face support um, also to just kind of counteract any of that heaviness from her nasolabial fold. Um, she had had cheek filler in the past and she was noticing that it was kind of starting to metabolize out and particularly on this side she felt like she had like a little bit of unevenness so that's why I'm going a little bit behind um, in the lateral aspect of the cheek, just to try to make that as seamless as possible. And then once I kind of did this, I noticed, okay, everything's looking really good. I'm liking the way it looks, but all I could see was her piriform. So I actually went in, I made sure to ultrasound this area prior to injecting. Everything looked good. So I am going right into the piriform aperture making sure that I'm moving nice and slow, always using a good aspiration in this area, and just low and slow pressure, never pushing too much. I typically only do about 0.1 at a time, and then I just kind of see um, how the tissue's looking, make sure the patient's doing okay, 
and then I'll continue and I'll push another point one, and then just kind of do the same thing um, to ensure I'm being as safe as possible. So her right side obviously needed a little bit more than her left side, but you will see that I'll go in and also do some here on the left side. Same thing all the way down to bone, good aspiration. I usually like to hold my aspiration for at least six seconds, checking the hub, making sure I don't get any flashback and then low and slow pressure, no more than 0.1 at a time, always checking in with the patient, watching the tissue very closely, um, so on and so forth. And then I will just go in and kind of massage everything out, make sure it all feels good. And then she is good to go. So not too much swelling, no real immediate bruising. Um, and she texted me afterwards and said she absolutely loved the result and finally felt like she was symmetrical um, with that nasolabial fold being lifted and filler just in very strategic parts of the face. So that was it. She was an excellent patient and... That was the end of our result. So thank you so much, everyone, for watching, and we will catch you in the next one.